Hey, uh, it's been so long since I've done one of these. We're going to talk about chapter 14. Basically, in chapter 14, you got a couple events to worry about with accounting. One of the things that you might want to be accounting for regarding partnerships is when a partner, when a new partner wants to join into the existing partnership. Another event would be when a partner wants to leave the partnership. And way down the road, we're going to get into, in chapter 15, we're going to get into where the whole partnership uh, dissolves. It liquidates. It's very exciting. Uh, but in this problem, we're going to do uh, chapter 14, problem number 6, where Oscar wants to join a partnership that already exists. You can go ahead and open your... Uh, your silly book to chapter 14, number 6. It is on 626 if you have edition 9. Um, okay, so let's get started. Started. A partnership has the following capital balances. Um, that's easy enough. We got Al Algin here. I've never seen that name before. And he, uh, he shares profits and losses with the partnership, the, the rest of the partners. He gets 40% uh, of the profits when they come in, and that's all that means. Uh, and he's got a balance, a capital balance, of $100,000. Uh, Jethro, another partner of the partnership, he's got $200,000 worth of capital. Foy is another partner, and they've got 300000 in their capital balance. And here's the event. I call events Zhao now. Here's my little symbol for event or act. It's Zhao. Uh, the event in this problem is Oscar is going to pay a total of $200,000. Okay, and I drew that down here. Oscar is here. And here's the membership icon. It's just like a M, um, kind of. Uh, Oscar is going to pay a total of $200,000 right here uh, to these three partners. These guys up here we called off. Um, represented in the symbol downturned E. He's going to pay to these three partners, directly to them, to acquire a 25% ownership. Drew that there. This should look very familiar because earlier on uh, we used this type of a diagram to show the context, if you will. Okay, so Oscar, he's, he buys into the partnership 25% share. 25% uh, interest from each partner. The goodwill is to be recorded, so that's what method we're going to be using the goodwill method. Uh, we could alternatively use the bonus method, and those are the only two ways to do it. And they actually separate into four different ways to do it. I'll get into that later. But um, the question is asking us specifically, what is Jethro's capital balance after this transaction, after this event, after Zhao, if you will? So the event is drawn here, always buying into the partnership. Uh, we're using the goodwill method, so I always draw goodwill in my notes. These are my notes I scanned in. And this should look very familiar. It's just as if a company, uh, a parent, were buying a subsidiary company. And so when, when Oscar buys into the partnership, he implies a value of the partnership. The implied value is 800000 in this case. That's the amount he's paying in over the percentage of the partnership which he would like to have. Um, okay, cool. The book value of the partnership is simply the sum of here, these columns. Uh, it's, that came to 600. I double checked it, don't worry. Uh, and we have an E, an excess of $200,000. His implied value is more than the book value by an excess of 200. So that's like our goodwill, more or less. E equals goodwill in this case. So since it's a positive uh, goodwill, uh, we need to allocate it to the other members. Allocate that to the other members. And here I've begun that allocation process. When we To allocate the $200,000, um, well, I just drew this up here, but I drew it again. Um, e stands for algin and then we show us profit and loss and that's handy to have in our table then we have a hundred for the capital balance we may as well sum that down there um so what's the first thing that we have to do to our table uh now that we we're really specifically thinking about jethro because that's what the problem's asking us so the first thing we're going to do we're going to allocate the goodwill that we solved right um 
So allocate goodwill, that's $200,000. So when you allocate two of them to the other partners, um, use their little profit loss ratio uh, to allocate it. So 200,000 times 0.4, it, we're going to allocate $80,000 of the 200 to Elgin. We're specifically thinking about Jethro, though. That's what the problem's asking us. Highlight here. All right, so Jethro, we take $200,000 times his 0.3 uh, share in the partnership, and that comes to $60,000 we need to allocate to Jethro. His starting balance is 200. We need to allocate 60,000 of that goodwill to him, that leaves us with an, an intermediate balance of, of 260000 Just add them. This is a simple table. Uh, no need to worry too much. So what's the next part that we have to do? Well, since this Oscar guy is buying into the partnership, we need to give Oscar 25% of his balance, uh, Jethro's balance. We need to give Oscar 25% of Jethro's balance. Jethro's intermediate balance, and that means like the transaction, we haven't completely found the balances yet. Jethro's intermediate balance is 260,000, so take that 260,000 times 0.25, and we're gonna give that much to Oscar. And here's our whole table. What is 0.25 of 260? Well, it's probably 65. So there we go. We have a final resulting balance of $195,000. It's been too long. Oh, and here's my little symbol. Um, instead of an exclamation mark, we have a, a just a one, just kind of like it looks like prime. It's not prime. Just think of it as the ending after Zhao, that's post Zhao. Uh, so capital of Jethro in the end is $195,000. And that would be option, if, if you're following along with the book, that's like option C. And yeah, that's the answer. But uh, we're gonna go extreme here. I still have some time left. So what if you wanted, what if you didn't want to draw a whole table? Like all you want is this one little guy. That's all that matters to you in this problem. Well, we, I have a little mathematical way of doing that. Um, first, I, I would write down capital of Jethro uh, plus equals goodwill times the ownership of Jethro, his share, the ownership share of Jethro. Those are my symbols, okay? Now, uh, or rather, we could just say 200,000, which is Jethro's beginning balance. Ta oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Not not that, not that. $200,000, which is the amount of goodwill. We calculated it up here. Um, very fun. Uh, <laughs> where is it here? Uh, $200,000 is our goodwill, times 0.3, that's Jethro's little share in the partnership. And that's going to equal $60,000. So yeah, that's easy to say, $200,000, 200,000, I mean, well, just 200 times 0.3 equals 60. But what is this plus equal thing? Well, I, after that you say, which would make, that's my symbol for which would make, $260,000. You might be thinking, what the fuck is Cathode Zero doing here? But he's doing something very cool. Basically, when you do a plus equals symbol, you're considering that uh, Jethro already has a capital account. And sure enough, he did. It's $200,000. So when you do a plus equal, you're like saying, whatever this is, and it's $200,000, $200, whatever this is, add this to it. You're not just making this, you're not just calculating this, you're calculating this and then you're adding it to that. That might be confusing, hopefully it's not too confusing because it's such a handy little tool. So when you have 200,000, then you just make this calculation, you have 60, and then you remember, oh yeah, plus add that to J, ca uh, capital J, which would equal $260,000. That is the intermediate balance of, uh, of Jethro's capital account. Okay, good. We're a, that's just a part of the problem. And oh yeah, and, and hold on, don't look down there yet. Um, and look right here. That's our intermediate balance. We're <laughs> we're on the right track. Uh, very cool. And we've done exactly what we did up here. Only we've done it in a line of math. 
And here is that same formula, only a little bit more clear because it doesn't have those symbols, the goodwill symbol and the share of ownership symbol. So the final part is the capital balance of Jethro plus equal intermediate balance of Jethro, which is 260, times negative uh, 0.25. And why are we doing that? Because we're subtracting the uh, <laughs> this up here. Uh, Oscar is going to steal. He's going to exhume some of that money is from Jethro. So basically this line of code just of math just does what we did up here. We we had 260,000, we subtracted 65 from it and then we found 195,000. That's 260,000 times uh, negative 0.25 and then add that amount to there. And that should be a negative sign there. So we're subtracting 65 but you know uh, that's the end of this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it here's all of my notes on my paper maybe that's cool to look at maybe not I like it it's pretty cool um, seeing it all together and I do I do work this way I'll draw the picture then I'll be like goodwill underline and then I do this little calculation just to save space on my blank sheet of paper um, very fun you can even see that I made an error uh, that's an error uh, good luck. I hope this helps.